Hey guys, this is going to be a quick video just about how you can create interactive worksheets. A lot of people know this trick, um, but I figured I would make it because it's one of those things that if you don't know, it could be life changing for you, especially in a remote learning setting. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and share my screen as always. And the first thing that I am going to do is open up a new slide and I'm going to go a new browser. I'm sorry. And I'm just going to go to slides.google.com. And there are a few things that I want to show you here. So if I go to slides.google.com, um, it will open up all of my Google Slides. I'm going to go ahead and click on blank. And what I'm going to do is, the first thing I'm going to do is delete these text boxes because I don't need these. This computer's moving slow. I'm going to close the themes. I don't need those either. All right, so I'm going to close, get rid of these text boxes by just clicking and deleting them. So I have a blank slide here. All right. Um, I'm going to come back here. I have opened up a just a, a Google search and I Googled blank maps of the United States and then I went to images and here is a map of the United States. It's blank. Let's say I wanted my kids to be able to label this. Well, in the past, what people sometimes do is just copy it, bring it back to their slides presentation and paste it here. Now, when your students go to label this, once you share this with your students, they might include a text box here, but then when they go to label this, let's actually do a state that is uh, <laughs> easy. They might label this Texas, and then maybe they start moving stuff around and it messes it up, right? So that's no good, definitely no good. So I'm gonna get rid of this text box. I don't need that. I'm gonna go ahead and put this where I want it to go. So there it is there. And what I'm going to do is, where did my, there we go, that's weird. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to have, I have this slide highlighted. I'm gonna go to file and I'm gonna go to download as, and I'm going to say JPEG. So it's gonna download this slide as a JPEG. All right, now I'm gonna create a new blank slide and I am going to go to background choose image um, and I'm actually just going to drag and drop it up there. Um, you could go search for it on your computer or whatever and then I'm going to click done. I'm going to get rid of this first slide that I used to create it. Now you'll notice I cannot move that map around. It is stuck. It is there. The kids cannot move it around. What's great about this is that I can then go ahead and label this Texas. Now, what you could do if you are um, not wanting them to just go in blind and do this, you could create all of these text boxes and kind of put them off to the side and maybe fill them yellow so that they just stand out a little bit more. I could duplicate this. So just think about how you could use this in any of your content. I could say California. I could duplicate it again and say um, Georgia. So maybe you're just focusing on a certain number of states a week or whatever. And then as your students get access to this presentation, when you make them all a copy, they literally could just, and they can resize these, drag and drop them where they belong on the map. But the map is not movable. Same thing if you wanted your students to, let's say in science class, you wanted them to label an animal cell. Again, I'm going to actually, I'm going to skip a, skip a step now that we know how to do that. I'm going to save this image as, and I'm going to save it as an animal cell. Save it on my desktop just so it's easy to find. I'm going to come over to my presentation. I'm going to create a blank slide. I'm going to go to insert, actually, nope, sorry, background, choose image. And it is on, I could search for it here. I'm actually going to upload it from my computer. So I'm going to go to browse. And I know it's on my desktop. There it is. Done. And it did kind of resize, kind of funky, but there it is. It cannot be moved. And so we kind of did it in two different steps for the map and the animal cell, but you get the same result. Now, again, your kids can grab those text boxes, put them in and label the parts of the cell. All right. Um, another thing that you could do, I'm going to go to file and what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to come down to page setup and I'm going to change my page setup to eight and a half. So 8.5 by 11. So it creates it like a piece of paper. So you see it stretched out all my slides. 
um, which you wouldn't want to do. I'm just giving you another example. But if you were going to do this next example that I'm showing you, you showing you, you would definitely want to create a new presentation to do this. So I'm going to bring in again a blank slide. There it is. Now, what I did is I went to Teachers Pay Teachers just so I could get an example. And I looked for some free examples so I could show you. And so I found this activity here. Let me go ahead and close that. Um, and so maybe you find something like this. There are tons of like I, I, I'm saying worksheets, but I hate giving kids worksheets. Um, but sometimes they do serve a purpose. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so I can grab it as, and I could just download it, but what I'm gonna do is grab it as an image. So let's say I want this particular worksheet here. I'm gonna grab this as a screenshot. And again, you could just download it and grab it that way. So I'm gonna come back to my presentation here. I'm going to not go to insert, I keep doing that. I'm gonna go to background because I want my kids to not be able to move it, remember? I'm going to browse and I know it's a screenshot that I took on my desktop. There it is. It's putting it in. And now I have this interactive worksheet that is ready to go for my kids. And I'm going to zoom in so that you can see what it looks like. So there you go. Now, if I have, if I take each of these pages, maybe I want all of these pages for my kids to be able to use. I can do this on each of these slides. And now I have an interactive worksheet for my students. Again, oh, <laughs> I'm zooming in, I wanna zoom out. Again, they cannot do anything to this, all right? It is, zoom back out, it is static. So your kids cannot move anything around on here. It is static. Now for them to fill this out, all you can do, or if you want to do this, or they can, if you teach them how to do this, is t go ahead and put all of these text boxes, go ahead and create these text boxes so that they are already there, ready for your students. So when they click in these text boxes, or when they click on that line, they will already have a text box to type their information in. Or what you could do is teach them how to put the text boxes in and then they would know how to do that. So they would just go ahead and enter in all their information, submit it back to you through Google Classroom or however you get the information. Um, you can also do this in uh, Microsoft PowerPoint. So if you are using Microsoft Teams, you could definitely do it that way as well. Um, but I just wanted to share this with you because a lot of people don't know that you can create interactive worksheets um, in a way that locks the background so your students can't move it around and manipulate it. And I think that as we are moving into remote learning, this is something that could definitely help you out. Just a quick little tip. So hope you give it a try. Let me know if you have any questions and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.